So a quick video at another practice um, portion of the software FSX 2020. I'm going to go into improve to the foresight range and instead of going to one of the driving ranges that we looked at in the last video, I'm going to go and practice on a particular hole that um, is quite an iconic hole. I'm sure everybody is quite familiar with it, but it's uh, the par 3 number 7 on uh, Pebble Beach. So I've gone into the improve section. For now, I'm just going to leave all the settings pretty stock, standard, calm, clear day. And go in and we'll have a, a, a quick look. This will be part two of the um, FSX settings tour. So a few of the options right off the bat that we have inside the software is uh, the camera options. So right off the, the very first icon is the putting green grid which I can't turn it on right now because we're nowhere near the green, so uh, that one's doing nothing for me right now. But we have camera options. Today I have it set on uh, the camera position, chasing the ball, tracking the exact shot. And I'll show you what that looks like. We'll hit uh, just a, a simple shot. So we hit, uh, that's the standard camera that I like to play. I'll go and click on a couple camera options. These were a few things that I was curious about before I got into the, uh, before I actually made the purchase of a GC quad. This one's start. Let's see what it actually looks like. Oh, that's a different look. So that's well, that one's hard to tell what's going on. So not my favorite, but it's a, a different camera. Um, we have a side view. There's the side view. <clears throat> so what other ones we got here? We have a chase view. That's a different view. Chases the ball. I think a couple other ones that we have are the, we have a random, so obviously choosing any one of them randomly as you play the game, it just keeps changing. We have an end view, which I think is the, the look standing on the green with the ball being hit at you. Yep. So um, you get the idea of the different camera views and then of course again I choose the ball but you have a, a ball and a TV style you can change. Some of these I'm not really familiar with because I've never, I may have tried them before but it's been quite a long time. Oh, <laughs> that one kind of flew the coop. So quite a few different camera options. Uh, there's an exact that I usually play. Again, the random, tracking, none. Uh, we have a ketchup. And you can change ketchup and chase. It's kind of a, quite an assortment of different camera views. That was different. That was a different look. Anyway, my preferred that uh, I like using is going to be a uh, camera position is going to be on the ball and I'm looking for the exact tracking uh, look. Uh, we have a bird's eye view. You get a nice uh, overhead view of the fairway, the green tee box, some ocean, uh, ocean view. We have uh, a replay button. So basically we'll look at the replay of the last shot. You can look at a shot list as well and pick a particular shot, but in this case, for this example, we'll just play the last shot. And it gives you a, a view of the up close last shot. So if we click the shot list, we'll be able to go in here and pick uh, shot number one, the very first one that we hit, and hit replay and watch that one fly. So pretty neat, pretty neat uh, option for the replays. Uh, for some of the best shots that you wanna, might want to have a look at again. Uh, we have a flyover. This is a nice when you're on those nice long holes 
with those dog legs that you want to be able to have a better look. Probably not the best example of a flyover on this little par 3, but uh, still nice even though it's such a great view on hole number 7, Pebble Beach. Um, we have ball drop. I'll call this ball drop. The idea is it's going to drop about 100 golf balls onto the green and it'll show you the contours. In this case, uh, you see in the right corner the ball slide off the green and it's rolling off in the right corner of the green on the, on the fringe. Um, otherwise, this screen that we're on here right now is dead flat, so hence why all the balls dropped and they didn't move. It is a very flat green. It's a challenging hole with the wind and all of the other fun stuff all on its own that the green doesn't have to have a whole lot of undulation in it to make it any harder. Um, right here we have the analytics and you'll be able to see that in the picture in picture that uh, in your bottom left hand corner and this is for the club data and it's showing off the club data currently on the on the shot that I the last shot that I just hit um, ball position impact position we have the the ball data the flight themselves for the ball data uh, a table of all the shots that I hit so far since we've been talking during this video and we can go into the screen you're looking at, it's all ball data, or we can look at the club data itself. Some of the stuff for face to path, the lie angle, um, there's no numbers on it. I just don't have uh, fiducials. I kind of have some on my club, but mostly worn off, so uh, we're not tracking that at the given moment. But that gives you an idea what's in the, the analytics screen. Um, next icon over is the weather. And the weather's pretty pretty neat. We've got some pretty good options to work on the weather and do some crazy things with the weather. I'll come back to this one in a minute. Um, hole selection. So we, we are in the practice mode of the software right now. And we have highlighted hole number 7, par 3. We can choose and just go to hole number 5 or whatever hole we want or whatever tee box we want. Hit done and it'll surface over to that hole as the next one that we want to play and uh, we might look at that towards the end of the video. Uh, the next option we have is the stimp of the greens. Currently, by I think this is by default, set at 7.5, and we can change the speed to whatever we want. So while we're playing in the game or in a practice session, we have uh, the stimp of our choice for the pace of uh, putts that we choose. Uh, the little plus icon is going to give you uh, another option of a flag. So let's just chase down to the flag. So we, if you're on the green itself making a putt, that would zoom you right down to the putting surface itself and you would get an idea of any contour in the green. Nice little down, down the line look. And then we have a legend. So basically the icons at the top that we've just gone through, you can only have so many up there. Um, and the remainder of the icons will go into the legend and you'll be able to move some of these around, take them out, put them in, kind of slot some of the different um, icons in here or take them out, whichever ones are, you prefer. Um, the ones that are up here on my screen are by default. I just left them. I've never removed any. You can remove them all or you can add just the ones that you think you need during course play or practice sessions. And then, of course, if you don't want to see any of this, you can just hit the ribbon and take out all of the the noise at the very top and bring it down when required. Um, another great option while you're in gameplay playing a course 18 holes with your friends or if you're just in a practice session you can go right into the weather and for this case we can adjust the weather to whatever we want 13 I'm in kilometers per hour for the wind so uh, we can go crank it as high as we want to 30 kilometers per hour and then change the um, the wind direction to whatever we think uh, we want for wind direction. Um, let's put it to about 255 degrees. When you click off, now you can see the waves in the background, you can see all the white caps in the ocean, um, and of course we have a 48 kilometer an hour wind and it's uh, straight down so we've got 48 kilometer an hour helping wind. Um, again, I have my log wedge in hand. I don't even know what how hard to hit this, but uh, we'll have a hit. Well, that worked out okay. So basically, with all that wind, I felt like I was hitting about a 10 to 15 yard shot. And it gets really noisy with all the waves. So um, we can crank that and put the wind a different direction. So the wind is going straight left to right at the moment. We can go right up to the 360 degree mark. Oh, sorry, let's go to say 130 degree mark. It's kind of uh, into. Here 
temperatures, 90 degrees, straight into the wind, 48 kilometer an hour. Um, I have no idea if it'll go anywhere, but we'll hit it and see. <laughs> that was a little almost boomerang effect. If, you, um, if you're watching this video, you'll be able to uh, replay that and watch it on the mini map. And you'll be able to see that ball go up in the air and get blown right over to the left side. So that was, that's a lot of wind. And of course, you can adjust the wind to whatever is suitable for you for the, the game you're trying to play. So now we're at 11 kilometer an hour wind straight into. Um, you can see the, the ocean isn't as calm as it was before, but we don't have all the noise. And you can uh, practice hitting those shots. Well, I didn't need to hit it that hard. So you can practice hitting those shots in different wind conditions, crosswind or uh, whatever you like. Another great option is uh, we have the internet. So basically if I click the internet right now, all of a sudden you see some fog, you see some cloud, a six kilometer an hour wind left to right. And this is the current wind or environmental conditions at Pebble Beach right now today. So uh, that's a really unique feature in uh, FSX uh, 2020 and obviously FSX 2018, but a very unique feature that uh, Foresight Sports has with all of their golf courses, all of their software packages. Um, I don't use it as often as I should, but uh, it is pretty unique. And uh, you can go anywhere on any golf course in the world, turn on the internet option, and you have live current conditions. And just for fun, I even had to go online and go to a popular weather station online and just confirm that it was accurate. And it is accurate. It is using actually a very well-known weather station to capture its data for this particular software. So very neat, very interesting. Um, I did say we'll come back and we'll look at some of the other weather. So right now I was turning the weather on and off at the very top here, the quick access uh, bar I'll call it. Or we can go into the settings and you see real-time weather is turned on right now. So I'm just going to turn that off. Um, when I did have the real-time weather, it automatically set our elevation. Typically, I'm playing around 2,200 feet of elevation for my current location. Um, by turning on the real-time weather, it did set the elevation basically to sea level, 250 feet. It set the temperature, as it should, to 51 degrees. I typically play around 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 26 degrees Celsius. And it did set the time at uh, 12 p.m. But uh, what we can do is I'm going to go back to my preferred temperature. I just like it around 80 degrees. That 26 seems to be happy weather for me. Um, we'll put it back to 1 o'clock. And we can just crank the fog right up and uh, put the cloudy days on. And I'll give you an idea what the foggy day looks like. So there's a foggy, cloudy day environment weather on hole 7 at Pebble Beach. Um, pretty neat, pretty cool weather. And uh, we can play with the... We can play with that weather a little bit, turn the fog up, turn the fog down. So let's just back off the fog a little bit and put maybe a, a clear day and have a quick look at it. So we got a touch of fog, kind of a 50% a of the fog, uh, whether the wind is still on. We can get rid of the fog and go from a clear day to partly cloudy got some clouds rolling around out, out in the air or we can go to a completely cloudy day. Well, it's not that cloudy at all is it? Um, let's go to a, a torrential pouring rain and see what that's all about. Or maybe just a light rain. Just a small drizzle, just setting the option down to the lowest point here. And we can hit some medium. So pretty cool environmental options. Again, when you're in uh, course play or practice mode, you can change these options anytime you like. Um, we can go to an early morning, 6 o'clock in the morning with some rain. And you got a totally different light condition. We'll go all the way to 6 p.m. the other way. Well, it's basically same, same. Maybe get a 9 o'clock in the morning. Quite a bit brighter. So there's some options. Pretty neat to be able to play around with them. And again, you can adjust your wind.
to whatever uh, kilometers or miles per hour you prefer, whatever direction you prefer. Uh, we did talk about last video changing the fringe, the green speed, the green bounce, um, the firmness of the ground, etc. So that's a, that's a quick look at uh, some of the in-game settings for FXX 2020. I did say I was going to show you the whole option where currently we're highlighted on hole number seven. If we felt like it, we could jump over and practice right on hole number five and just click right over to it <coughs> and uh, it'll take us over to hole number five. So uh, that's a quick run through of the settings that we have and if you guys need any more explanation please comment below.